Wake up. Ready to go camping? Alrighty, I found tonight's camping spot. Absolutely perfect. Start setting up my camp now. Good thing about the adventure van is pretty much when you pull in, you're set up. But man, it's just beautiful. Let me go show you the view. Oh my gosh. This will be my view tomorrow morning when I'm having coffee. Amazing, it's just beautiful. And uh, right over there, that cliff face, that I do believe is called Shortoff Mountain. We are in the gorge. The most valuable piece of gear that I brought is right there, that solo stove. Man, these things are so awesome. Haven't used it in a while because it just hasn't been cold enough. So I stopped and grabbed two bundles of firewood so I'm really gonna enjoy the solo stove tonight. I really like this spot because that gravel road's right over there and I can hear cars coming and going, but I'm actually hidden down here. So that's great. Got my table set up, a few snacks laid out and that's where I'll make my meals and uh, make morning's coffee. So if you have a van, I highly recommend one of these cheapo foldable tables. I'm also prepared for any unwelcome guests. Hillbillies playing a banjo, a bear, or even a squatch. I'd rather err on the side of caution. What do you think, Lucy? Are you happy with this spot? Now here's something that I always bring with me once the weather starts to cool down. Wherever I go, that yellow bag goes. That is my cold weather gear, clothing bag. It's full of everything, you name it. There's some base layer stuff right there. Windproof, waterproof stuff. I've got everything to uh, handle virtually any cold situation. And the cool thing about it is you can also uh, let people borrow stuff because I've got so much stuff in there. It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Because I assure you, I've done a lot of really stupid things. And none of them bother me. All the mistakes and all the dopey things and all the times I was embarrassed, they don't matter. Last August, I was told that in all likelihood, I had three to six months left to live. Somebody said to me, in light of those numbers, wow, so you're really beating the Grim Reaper. We don't beat the Reaper by living longer. We beat the Reaper by living well and living fully. This right here is my security light on the van. It's uh, solar powered. It stays on the van 24 seven and I've got magnets on it. So I've done a video about this also. So that is excellent qualities. These light them and it really lights the place up. So if a Squatch is messing around the van tonight, he'll get lit up and then I'll light him up. Probably the next most important piece of gear that I have is the pee bottle, okay? I ain't coming out of the van. And a guy like me needs a real wide opening. Hey, second chance George, as far as your pee bottle goes, you probably get by with one of these, right? With that size opening. <laughs> Other piece of must have gear for me when I'm camping in the van is my white noise maker. This is the little travel model by Rome. And I like to 
have this thing going. Not so loud that I can't hear anything outside, but I just love the white noise. Let me turn it on here. All right, it's on. Let's see if I can turn the volume up. That little hockey puck looking thing will put your butt to sleep. This is so beautiful right here. I'm going to have to put in a hawk sound when I make the video. The good thing about watching other people's videos is you learn a lot. And uh, I learn a lot, certainly learn a lot. Uh, a couple of the YouTubers I watch that do some bushcraft are Saline Scott and Carolina Chris. And uh, I've learned some of their methods to make fires the bushcraft way. So that's what I'm getting ready. It's time to start a fire. I'm going to try to do it the bushcraft way, the way they teach. So wish me luck. Sure hope this works. Look at the way these rocks light up. That's really cool. They are just sparkling with my headlamp. Very neat. Time to make some dinner. Tonight we're having some Cajun dirty rice on the jet boil. All right, y'all, this adventure is coming to an end. Had a great time. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. Been wanting to do this for a long time uh, up here at Linville, just boondock. And um, it got down to about 38 last night, but I stayed cozy, toasty warm under a sleeping bag. And I threw a blanket over for, for good measure. Uh, weird thing that happened was about nine o'clock, I'm laying in bed and... Uh, watching a Netflix movie. And all of a sudden my entire camp lit up, the inside of the van lit up. And it was like, what the, are you serious? And I, I raised up and looked out the back window and a car or truck, whatever it was, had pulled in on me, um, didn't see me. You know, when you pull off the road, I'm kind of hidden back here. But when they saw the van, they stopped and backed out and drove off. So that was kind of a, freaky occurrence right there but uh other than that everything went smooth i woke up this morning got my coffee went down to my scenic spot and literally sat there for about an hour in the sun warming up and just watching the beautiful scenery so if you ever want to come here i'd be happy to give you the exact gps location all you have to do is just go to my about page and uh on there you can send me an email Send me an email, tell me you want to know this location. I'm not going to put it in the description for the entire world, but if you want to know where this is at, it's perfect for hammock camping, tent camping, boondocking. The road to get here is a little rough. I came in from that direction, which is the Lake James direction. Road, gravel road, probably about five miles to get to this spot. There was one place, it was pretty steep and it was washed out and I had a little trouble getting up that incline with this van. Took me three tries and finally on the third try, I had to just gun the van and go up the hill in through all the washouts and it felt like I was riding a Bronco, um, uh, a bucking Bronco, but I uh, made it up there okay. So keep that in mind, what kind of vehicle 
Uh, don't bring a pull behind camp or anything like that, but there's plenty of room for whatever you want to do and the scenery is beautiful. Okay. All right. I am Steve and I will see you again real soon.